right, Evan Moore, you 23 national champion. How are you feeling? Feeling good, man. It's been a while since I've, I've gotten one of those stop signs. They're so elusive, man. You know, if you can have a dom dominant tournament, tournament and then going to the finals and find something was real tough. You know, that was kind of the case here. I had a pretty close semis match, but every match before that was pretty dominant, but I wanted that stop sign, man. I think I've only got like two of those. So it's a great feeling getting one of those. Um, and beating a guy like that, Barnacle, I mean, he may not have the accolades, but I know a good wrestler when I see one. And he's definitely, he's got the talent. He can hand fight hard, move guys well. So I knew it was going to be a battle. Yeah, uh, Barnacle is one tough dude. He can wrestle him at a lot of corners. Yeah. Uh, Semi-finals, he had Teamer, you know, that world bronze medalist. You guys had a yeah. bronze burner. I think it was like 11-9 or something. 11-9, yeah. Um, how are you feeling going to the finals after a match like that? After a match like that, I wasn't, I actually wasn't feeling too good. I don't know. I think that that match was, Teamer took it out of me a little bit, and then they run the finals right away. Um, but it's good, even though Teamer's a bit younger than me. Like I said, I know I could wrestle when I see one, man. So getting a win like that, whether it's a tech or it's a close match, it's a win. And I, and I love that. And these guys are all gamers, and I respect the hell out of them. And I love scrapping with him, and he's just – he's so sharp. He's so athletic. I watched his match before, and I knew it was going to be a battle. You know, maybe maybe I shouldn't be watching these matches before. Maybe I psych <laughs> myself out. But, no, I knew going into it I was going to have some good scraps. Yeah. So I was excited to win those. Yeah. So last month you competed in senior nationals. Uh, right. The fourth in a really tough bracket. Uh, between then and now, what did you work on, and, and where do you think you saw your biggest career? I think my, my biggest thing, I used to look at wrestling as, you know, there were, there are levels in high school. It was just whoever's in the best shape is going to win. And then it was whoever's in like has the best technique is going to win. Whoever's the strongest is going to win. But I've come to realize whoever re remains the most composed is going to win. So in practice, I'm really just trying to work on my composure is, is the main thing. I mean, I know in my mind, I got the skill to beat anyone. I just need to remain composed and execute my technique. And that's, that's what it comes down to. And practicing that is a little hard, you know, because you're not going to get the same feel in practice that you do out here, right? I don't, I haven't been challenged like Ronald will just challenge me. I haven't been challenged like that in a long time, but it helps me work on my composure. Even in that match, I kind of started to, you know, panic a little bit, but I remain composed and that, that's what got me through it. Yeah. So, you know, during the pandemic, obviously opportunities to compete are, are you know, not that abundant. So what does it mean to be able to get out to these tournaments and get in, you know, numerous matches against quality competition and tough guys? It means everything, especially in wrestling. We rely so much on just you got to keep moving forward. You got to keep going. COVID really kind of shut that down. We shut down the momentum for a lot of guys. I took literally, I think, five months off. Like, I was just couldn't do anything, trying to remain COVID conscious and not get in contact with anyone. But I found ways to work around that and keep getting better. and. I've been able to test myself in competition. So it's so big that we have competitions like this too. You know, we can make as much as much games as we want, but we gotta we gotta put it on the line at some point. And this is this is really awesome that we have the opportunity to put it on the line here. Yeah. Um, so I know I asked you earlier, you know, what was your biggest improvement in senior nationals and, and uh, now what do you think your biggest improvement has been across, you know, the pandemic in general? Like is there anything in particular that you think that you like elevated um, I think just working on my on my composure, a lot of other things start to open up. You know, my my versatility starts to open up. I I think I wrestled a long time, like I said, just trying to be in the best shape. But for some reason, I felt like I was working ridiculously hard to not get in any better shape. I was just like, I was working the hardest of anyone in the country. But when it came down to it, I'd go three minutes in a match and I'd be dog tired. But just remaining composed, I feel like it's hard to get tired anymore. Um, if I if I remain composed, it's like I'm not going to get tired. You know, I can scrap with anyone, and I think it's starting to show my versatility from from space. I can wrestle from space now. I wasn't able to do that before. I can wrestle from inside the tie. I can reattack. I can do all these things. You know, when when I just remain composed and, and allow myself to get better. You know, I think when people panic, they don't let themselves take the opportunities that they that they need to. So NCAA season is right around the corner. Uh, how much are you looking forward to it? Uh, well, I'm looking forward to watching guys. I'm on. I'm taking an Olympic redshirt this year. Um, 
I don't know if I'll be if I'll be pulling out of that. Um, I'm not entirely sure that NCAAs are still going to happen, but if they do, man, I'm I'm super pumped to watch them. I've always been a spectator as well. I watch wrestling all the time. I love watching video, whether or not it's guys in high school, guys in college, guys in the Olympic level. I love watching it, and it's just super awesome to to see guys get after it and see what they do. You know, maybe I can use that in some of my wrestling. Yeah, so Olympic red shirt uh, going all in for the trials. That's awesome. It's really exciting. What do you need to do to get yourself ready to, to compete and, and beat, you know, guys that are that are legends in the sport already, right? like Burroughs and Dave? You know what I mean? I, I think at that point, I got to stay in an exceptionally good position all the time against those guys and, and being ready for six minutes against those guys is huge because you may get up, and we saw it last night, Sahid and Burroughs. Like, you may get up. You can get up 6-0 on Burroughs, but you better be ready to maintain that lead because Burroughs ain't letting up. You know, so I think just as I'm wrestling, being ready, hey, if I go up, I'm still on, I'm still in this fight. I'm still going to bring it to you. If I go down, I'm still in this fight. I'm going to bring it to you. And I think that's something that a lot of guys need to work on is, like, just keep after it. Don't give anybody the, like, undeserved respect. I think it's some some exceptionally good wrestlers still do that. I know a lot of great guys who don't let themselves capitalize on really good opportunities because they just give guys way too much respect. It's like, just go out there, forget about that, and do your thing. Awesome. Well, hey, Evan, congratulations. Uh, great tournament. You know, great win in a really tough bracket. Uh, looking forward to seeing you compete again and looking forward to hopefully seeing you at the Olympics and Thank you, man. You have a good one as well.